Hello everybody, I am here to tell you today, I'm here today to tell you about um, an event that we are hosting at So Whatever Studio slash Mormino headquarters in Belleville, Illinois, that we are calling the So Whatever Workshop at Mormino HQ. Um, we weren't sure quite what to call it, but there was an event that was supposed to be taking place on the, is it Labor Day weekend? Anyway, August 30th through September 1st. Um, that unfortunately was not able to happen. So my brain going into panic mode decided to host what we could here at um, Mormino headquarters. So we are going to have about 20 classes and two large events within our space. Um, the weekend, like I said, of August 30th through September 1st. So it's gonna be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, pretty much from like 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, we have industrial classes within our industrial classroom. We are going to have domestic classes within our warehouse space. Um, both classes will fit pe 15 people. Um, we might be able to squeeze more into the domestic if classes fill up and people didn't get a chance to take them. Um, but we feel like 15 is a good number for the teachers and it's going to give enough space within the classroom so that people don't feel crammed in, tight or overwhelmed. Um, and then we're also going to be having demonstrations in the kitchen of our warehouse, which is a little silly, but it's a nice kitchen and it's the most closed off space within our warehouse. So you'll be able to see really well, we're gonna have a TV in there for people to show things there, but anyway. Um, so the event cost um, is about $30, I believe, so you have to buy your event ticket. Um, and then there's classes to sign up for. All of the classes except for mine will say $0, but within the listing there is a class kit fee that you are going to be responsible for bringing the money for to give the teacher for your class kit and their time to teach it. Um, so we gave the people who were originally signed up for the event first dibs at these classes so that they could um they would be able to get what they had signed up for initially as much as we could provide of course um and then we decided we had enough space within the classes and we want to get these teachers full classes so we wanted to open it up a little bit more spaces are extremely limited but we think it's going to be really fun <laughs> so like I said, there's 20 classes that's gonna be happening throughout the weekend between industrials, domestic, and demos. So three classes going on at a time. And then we have two big events. One is happening Friday night from six to eight, just about. Um, and then another event happening Saturday from like seven to nine, that kind of a thing. And so those are going to be held outdoors in tents. We were going to rent tents, but we are not charging enough for this event to actually collect any money. So we're going to like string together a bunch of 10 by 10 tents and create this tent space with tables and chairs. And we are going to have a bag making Q&A panel. And this isn't, this isn't featuring anyone necessarily, but we're going to have all the teachers that are attending there to answer questions but we know that those in attendance also have a, a great bit of knowledge that they might love to share. So bring your questions, we're just gonna hang out. Um, I'm really excited for that. Again, that will be hosted outdoors. If weather is really bad for some reason and we think we can fit everybody who signed up to come inside, then we will do that. Um, but right now the plan is to have it outside. Um, and then on Saturday night, we're going to have bingo outside. <laughs> like trying to think of like a fun party situation without it being like, what do we do? We're supposed to just mingle? We're all awkward. I don't want to do that. Um, so I think it's going to be super fun. For bingo, the plan is we have our teachers and vendors who are going to be bringing something as a prize, but then we thought it might be fun if you have something you would want to de-stash or like a bunch of supplies you never really use, you could put it in a gift bag to put on the table as another prize so that there's lots and lots to choose from and maybe everybody gets a chance to win. Um, and if that doesn't work out, we're kind of flying by the seat of our pants with this. We've put this together in a very short amount of time, but with great intent and good plans. So <laughs> fingers crossed it works out. Um, it sounds like it won't, but I'm really positive that it will. Um, we have a wonderful classroom here already, and 
where we are getting our domestics from also is very used to hosting classes. So she will be bringing everything possible to make successful classes. Um, we will be offering, I don't know if I should mention it, but we will be offering a virtual portion for those who were signed up for that event that is not happening anymore, that will not be public. Um, we were not trying to devalue the classes where people are attending. We just want to make sure that those who thought they were going to get a class are going to get a class. So that is that. Um, I'm not going to say what the classes are and go into detail, but they're incredible. I'm just so excited. And we've given the classes plenty of time to complete the projects because there's nothing worse than feeling super rushed and like you can't get through everything. So we've padded the classes so that it's relaxed and comfortable. Um, so I think that's about all I can say for the classes. Um, they're all going to be laid out on the website. You need to purchase your event ticket and then you can add the other ones you want to your cart. The times are listed. We have a schedule. So try not to sign up for any overlapping classes is the biggest thing I can say. Um, and then I'm going to talk about our space. Um, we have about a 4,000 square foot, I think it's 4,000, could be 5,000 square foot building. You'd think I should know, but I don't. And we are limited in parking, especially since we're going to be hosting the event tents. But we are part of a um, little suite of offices and on the weekends all of those doctor's offices etc etc are closed um, and that's going to be Saturday Sunday so Friday parking is going to be kind of limited uh, we do have like a circle drive you might be able to park in but I would say if you're going to be staying at any of the hotels try to coordinate with people for rides possibly um, because like I said space is going to be limited especially if we're having as many people sign up as we have space for um, so I know that's going to be a little bit of a frustration, but we are doing our best. <laughs> um, we hope to have a food truck outside once per day around lunchtime. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to do dinner time because if we do not meet the food truck's food minimums, then we're required to pay the rest. And again, we're not making money off of this event necessarily to be able to cover that expense so we don't want to lose out money but we still want to give you a fun experience we are super close to a bunch of fast food places and then not far from restaurants either however we've not given a ton of time for a lunch break there's still classes going on so just keep that in mind and plan for that if you can i know it's frustrating we didn't give a lunch time but we're just trying to get as many of those classes in as possible um i, I think that's a about everything within the event ticket listing you we've got hotel links we were not able to get a room block just because our normal contact um, was really busy and wasn't able to help us but we live in Belleville Illinois and the closest hotels are going to be in O'Fallon and Fairview but pretty much O'Fallon and that's a nice area Target Starbucks lots of restaurants lots going on um, and then we're just about 10 minutes from that location. So there's nothing literally close by or super attached. So just keep that in mind. Um, be wary of some Airbnbs. Uh, we had somebody get an Airbnb and they were sussed out by it. So just be wary of that. I wouldn't stay at like the West End of Belleville. It's not bad. It's just kind of sketchy. We're in a good location, but some places are, you know how that is. I'm anxious. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can say about it. I'm looking down at the schedule and that's why I'm like, what, what do I say? Um, we are sad that the previous event is no longer going to be able to take place. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'm not going to go into it, but I've said what I need to say about it. And so whatever it, it is, it's a lot, it's hard. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. We're excited, but sad. That's, that's our vibe going into this. We think this is going to be super fun. It's going to be somewhat quaint. We have space. We've decided for 90 people. Not everybody is going to be able to be inside at once. So that's what those tents are for, tables and chairs. Um, some people have talked about bringing friendship bracelet making stuff and like little crafts to do outside while they're waiting for a class. Um, but of course, Mormino headquarters will be open for shopping. And then we have a small list of vendors who will be bringing 
their supplies and things. So there's, um, I'll, I'll have a list down below. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. We're not going to be doing like goodie bags or anything like that. It's just too short notice and that's a lot of work. And we're trying to make this as easy as possible. I don't know. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, those tickets are going to be on sale tomorrow morning. I know that's super short notice, but yeah. And then um, the ticket sales will turn off around August 19th or the 20th. That gives us 10 days before the event to get everything set in stone logistically. So again, thank you so much for watching. Um, and I hope I will see you there. Bye.